How to record a voiceover. Do I need to buy a lot of professional recording equipment? In fact, recording a voiceover shouldn't be something that you have to worry about. Hey, let me show you the answer. Hi, I'm Josh from Wondershare Demo Creator, and today I'm going to show you how to record a voiceover properly and easily. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks for video creation. Many people want to know how to make their slideshow videos more engaging and attractive. Adding a voiceover might be the right choice. And today, I'll give you a few short tips on how to get the best results whilst recording your voiceover with Wondershare Demo Creator, whether you're in a studio or working from home. And if you don't have Wondershare Demo Creator yet, there's a link in the description for your free trial. Number one, find a quiet place to work. I'm sure you've seen what a typical recording studio looks like. Professional voiceover artists typically have a room somewhere with walls covered in sound absorbing foam, quite like this here, with a fancy microphone setup with a pop screen and a computer workstation. Luckily, you don't have to go this far to achieve these great results. You want a space free of distracting noises and where you aren't likely to be interrupted. Number two, use a decent microphone. If at all possible, try not to record your voiceover using your laptop microphone. Whilst built-in mics are fine for Skype meetings and the like, you will get a much better result with even a low-cost external microphone. USB microphones are quite popular here. Number three, write a script. The best scripts will include word for word everything that you intend to say. Taking the time to write this out before recording ensures that you will cover everything you want to without the danger of meandering off into unrelated topics. Outline the points that you want to make and then write the full script based on that outline. Number four, choose a suitable audio software. There's no shortage of audio recording software on the market and most of them do relatively the same things. But for most of us, these will be far too complicated and will have too high a learning curve to be of practical use, not to mention how expensive they are. And that's why I highly recommend Wondershare Demo Creator. Demo Creator has an audio recorder built in that will allow you to record your voice as you record your screen when appropriate. You can also record your voiceover by itself. You can even edit your audio right in Demo Creator Editor. Number five, during recording, don't stop. Keep recording, even if you mess up, but give yourself a break if you're frustrated. We can always cut out the mistakes in editing. So next, let me show you exactly how to record a voiceover in Demo Creator. If you only want to record the voice without any screen images. Step one, open Wondershare Demo Creator. Step two, connect your microphone. Step three, disable the screen recording area and keep the system mic off. Then hit the record button to start your voice recording. After recording, you can review it or edit it as much as you like, such as cut your unwanted parts, adjust the volume, denoise, change the audio speed, then export it. If you want to record a screen presentation with your voice, you need to enable the screen recording function, disable the system mic, connect your microphone with your PC, then start recording. You can record the PowerPoint screen as well as your voice. After recording, you can review it or edit it as you like. As before, cut the unwanted parts, adjust the volume, etc. And then export it. So if you want to make a voiceover for your already created video, you can use the voice recorder in the Demo Creator video editor. Step one, import your video or image files. Drag them to the timeline and arrange it as you like. Tap the voice recorder icon to start recording. After recording, an audio track will be shown on the timeline. You can edit it independently. All right, that's all. Recording voiceovers like a pro is easy when you know how to do it and you have the right tools. Taking the proper steps before you hit the record button and then taking the time to edit your audio appropriately will go a long way to ensuring your voiceovers sound professional and engaging. And remember, practice makes perfect. The more that you do it, the more natural it will become. Hey, if you found this video useful, do click the like button and leave a comment below. And if you wanna see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.